Okay, first thing you're going to need is a micro SD card of at least 64 gigabytes capacity. You can see this is a 128, and uh, you'll need it to be at least class 10. You'd be pretty hard pressed to find an SD card for sale these days that isn't at least class 10. Um, faster is better if you can, though probably doesn't make too much difference. Uh, you'll also need, of course, an TransFlash or micro SD to full size SD card adapter. And make sure this little switch is up like this, not slid down. Otherwise, you won't be able to write to your SD card and you won't get very far. So go ahead, pop your SD card in the SD card adapter if you need it, and stick that in your computer. If you don't have an SD card reader in your computer, you can get a USB one for sale pretty cheaply. Okay. Um, so, once you've got your SD card in and it's at least 64 gigs, open up Windows Explorer or whatever you're using and go to Format. Now, uh, you need it to be in XFAT or NTFS. Either of those is fine. Just make sure it's not FAT32. And default allocation size, volume mobile, whatever you want, and do a quick format. I've already formatted mine, so I won't do this now, but you hit start, wait for it to go, and then it'll pop up here as a blank drive. Uh, you're also gonna want plenty of free space. So you can see I've got um, heaps of space here. Free, you need at least, I don't know, 30 gigabytes or so of free space, because you need to um, download the files and then expand them. So you need a fair bit of space. Uh, the download file is also pretty large, so you'll want a um, reasonably speedy internet connection. Um, so this, this is what I'm on. If you don't have a fast internet connection, maybe do it at work or somewhere else. Okay, so once you've got that, you got your SD card, you've got a fast internet connection and a bit of space in your computer. You can come in here and just search for VW map updates. And the one you want is the AppConnect Volkswagen.com map updates car. Um, you can see here the top results actually vdub.com.au and I can show you that, but it actually just uh, redirects to this website, the AppConnect one. So you can stay up to date, blah, 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 search the maps here. And as you can see, that's the, um, that's the same web page. Okay, so check your model year. I recommend double checking the VIN just to be sure. Um, mine's a 2018 Tiguan. So it's got some info there on how to do that. Uh, we can close that, get out of it. So come down here to Tiguan. I'm looking at a 2018, so from 2017. There are two. Um, options here, the Discover Media and Discover Pro. Mine is a Discover Pro. Okay, and then you can choose your uh, map. In this case, I'm in Australia, I want the Australian maps. You choose whichever one was appropriate for you. Um, go ahead, hit download. Yes, I agree, you don't really have a choice if you want to update the maps. And um, download the map update. So it's going to start downloading. And you can see that's a 15 gig download, which is why you need a pretty speedy internet connection. I'm just going to cancel that because I've already downloaded it ahead of time. And while we're here on this web page, I'll just note if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's this little help and support section. Um, and that has a link to a PDF document, which um, is unfortunately in German. Fortunately, though, uh, there are online PDF translators. So you can see I've put it through an online PDF translator here and translated it into English. And I'll put that on my Google Drive and put a link in the description below just to save you the trouble. But um, it tells you all the information that I'm giving you in the video as a useful reference. Uh, and close all that. Okay, so once you've downloaded the file, um, in here, so I've saved it in your downloads. There it is. You can see in this case it's not actually showing up because it's a 
.7z, you need a program called 7zip, uh, which is linked here at the bottom, or you can just do a um, Google search for 7zip. Come in there. And there's the download. So I'll go ahead and download that now. That's completed. If you're, you need to install this, you'll need user admin administrative permissions to install it. If you don't and you're on a work computer, you can do a search for 7zip portable. Go into portableapps.com. And that's a version that doesn't need installing. And it's a fairly, fairly reliable source. So you can download it from there. And, um, and you can see 25.01, that's actually the same current version there. Okay, anyway, so I've downloaded that. I'm just gonna run that file now. User admin permissions, that's why it went black. Uh, I'll go ahead and install that. Okay, great. So now, right, come back to my downloads. It shows up as a .7zip file. If it doesn't, you can right click and go 7zip. Should come up with a um, context menu entry there. Although I'm not sure if the portable one does. If the portable one doesn't, then you can do open with. But anyway, you want to open the archive. It'll come up in 7zip. And uh, it should look like this. If you're upper level, then you might have to open it out like this. But this is the level which you want to extract it. So you want to select all these files, right click, and do a, uh, sorry, do all these, click extract. And then at this point, you browse, hit the three little dots there, browse to your SD card, and extract it directly onto your SD card. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it now. And that will take quite a while because SD cards are not very fast. Um, so you've got to sit there and wait for that to happen. But once that's all done, then you can go ahead and um, eject your, come down here to the bottom right and right click and eject your SD card. There we go, safe to remove. Take that out. And at this point, I'm not actually sure if it makes a difference, but uh, just put that back up, sorry. Um, at this point, you'll want to slide it down and make sure it's locked. I'm not sure if that's critical, but the, in the VW's instructions do say to do that. Okay, so we've got our SD card. It's got all our map update files on it. Now we can go and stick that in our car. All right, so here we are down the car. SD card in hand. Let's go. I'm going to get in the passenger side because we'll need access to the glove box. So we jump in here. And close the door. Righto. So I'll just turn it on first. Let it start up. Just pause it for a sec. All right. So here we go. So we're in the maps. Go in here to settings. And um, I might just try and get you in here a bit closer. You can see version information. Yeah, I've got maps from 2017. Got update SD SUV. Won't find anything. Because, I'll just turn this torch back on. SD card's here. So we open the glove box. And in here is our SD card slot. There's SD1 and SD2. Doesn't matter, you can put it in either one. Slide that in there. I'm just going to push that in. So it goes click. Immediately it detects software update is available. Now, something to note is this can, it does say this can take up to four hours, but um, so they suggest getting a, uh, like putting your car on a charger or something just to keep the battery charged if you're going to leave it sitting here. But you can start and stop the car and start it up, shut it down, and it'll just pick up from where it left off. So I'm going to go ahead now, hit update, searching for software updates. Just pause it. 
All right, so it's come up. Available data, NavDB version 2025-2026. Next, software update in progress. Now all we have to do is just wait for it to copy that however many gigs of 20 gigs or so of data it was from the SD card onto the computer. So in quite a few hours' time, this should be done. And uh, so you can cancel it, but if you hit menu and go home, you can continue to drive as normal, um, you know, just keep using it. And if you go back into the settings and the version information and hit, you can see it now says 2025-26. Um, if hit update, you can see that it's still um, update in progress and it's chugging away. So you can keep using your car stereo and stuff while it updates and in quite some time it should be done. All right, so sweet as, that's it. That's how you get new maps on a TIG one.